And now the motor neuron is a cell, is one of the biggest cells that we have in the nervous system. It's a long, long cable that attaches to the muscle, the axon. And that's the cell we all talk about, the neuron. But if it was just floating in, the brain is like jelly, right? There's no muscle, it's just floating. If the neurons are all just together, packed together, they all talk to each other and they'd just be, it'd be like a, a wiring system with no insulation. The astrocyte packs all the gaps between the neurons and spaces the neurons out so they can function without being on top of each other. They suck out bad things from around the neurons. They harbor the neurons. They, they actually have end feet that go onto blood vessels that stop bad things coming in from the blood and they pull good things in. They're like the nurse keeper for the neuron. Without an astrocyte, the neuron would die in 10 seconds. I don't think ALS is as simple as any one theory right now. I think the astrocytes will be part of the story and that there may be some problem with the astrocyte. Uh, the motor neuron, though, may also be stressed in some way, and there could be a muscle component. Most diseases aren't as simple as just one thing. So you have all these stresses out here, and I think the astrocyte may be a major player in this death pathway. So if we can replace the astrocyte, we may be halfway to restoring function of the motor neuron and may make it happy again. Trying to patch it up, not, not being really clever, just, you know, fix, fix you up a little bit to, to make you feel better, maybe block the ongoing death of the motor neurons. And I think it's a more modest goal than trying to cure ALS, uh, but practically I think it's, we've got a chance of doing that.